The human mind, a universe within itself, has captivated thinkers for millennia. What is consciousness? Where does it reside? And does it persist beyond the veil of death? These questions, timeless and profound, have fueled philosophical debates and scientific inquiries for generations. Our conscious experiences, our thoughts, emotions, and sense of self seem intrinsically linked to the physical matter of our brains. Yet, the exact nature of this connection remains a mystery. Does the brain produce consciousness? Or is it merely a receiver of a more fundamental, universal consciousness? The advent of quantum mechanics, a revolutionary theory that governs the microscopic world, has added a new dimension to this age-old quest. Quantum phenomena, with their inherent strangeness and counterintuitive principles, offer tantalizing possibilities for understanding the enigma of consciousness. This exploration ventures into the realm where quantum mechanics intersects with the human mind, probing the potential role of quantum processes in the genesis and persistence of consciousness, both in life and, perhaps, even after death. Quantum mechanics, born in the early 20th century, shattered the deterministic worldview of classical physics. It revealed a reality where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, known as superposition, where they can instantaneously influence each other regardless of distance, known as entanglement, and where the act of observation alters the state of the system being observed. These bizarre quantum phenomena challenge our conventional understanding of reality. If the fundamental constituents of matter behave in such a strange and unpredictable manner, could it be that consciousness too arises from a quantum substrate? The human brain with its billions of interconnected neurons presents a complex system ripe for quantum effects. Could the intricate dance of ions and neurotransmitters within our neurons be governed by quantum laws? Could consciousness itself be a manifestation of quantum coherence? A state where countless particles act in unison, creating a unified and conscious experience? These questions have given rise to a fascinating field of study known as quantum mind theory, which explores the potential role of quantum mechanics in the workings of the brain and the emergence of consciousness. One of the most prominent theories in quantum mind research is the Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or CHOR, model, developed by myself and the eminent physicist Sir Roger Penrose. This model proposes that consciousness arises from quantum computations within microtubules, protein structures found inside neurons. Microtubules, long hollow cylinders, form the cytoskeleton of cells, providing structural support and facilitating intracellular transport. They are also thought to play a role in information processing within neurons. ORCH-OR suggests that quantum superpositions occur within the microtubules, governed by the laws of quantum gravity. These superpositions collapse or reduce objectively, leading to moments of conscious experience. These reductions are not random, but orchestrated, influenced by factors within the brain and possibly even the universe at large. ORCH-OR offers a compelling framework for understanding consciousness as a manifestation of quantum processes within the brain. It suggests that consciousness is not merely an emergent property of complex neural networks, but a fundamental aspect of reality arising from the interplay of quantum mechanics and the structure of space-time. Despite its intriguing possibilities, the ORCH-OR model and other quantum mind theories face considerable scientific skepticism. Critics argue that the brain, a warm, wet, and noisy environment, is too chaotic for delicate quantum effects to persist. They contend that quantum coherence, even if it exists in microtubules, would be quickly destroyed by thermal fluctuations and interactions with the surrounding environment. Furthermore, there is currently no definitive experimental evidence to support the existence of quantum coherence in the brain or its role in consciousness. While some studies have shown intriguing correlations between brain activity and quantum phenomena, these findings are preliminary and require further investigation. Bridging the gap between theoretical models and empirical evidence remains a major challenge for quantum mind research. Developing sophisticated experimental techniques to detect and measure quantum effects in the living brain is crucial for advancing our understanding of this complex interplay. Entanglement, one of the most perplexing phenomena in quantum mechanics, describes a state where two or more particles become intrinsically linked, regardless of the distance separating them. Measuring the state of one entangled particle instantaneously determines the state of the other, even if they are light years apart. 
Could entanglement play a role in consciousness? Some theories propose that entangled particles within the brain could contribute to the unity of conscious experience, binding together different aspects of perception, thought, and emotion into a coherent whole. Furthermore, entanglement could potentially extend beyond the confines of the individual brain. Could our minds be entangled with other minds, forming a vast interconnected network of consciousness? Could consciousness itself be a non-local phenomenon, existing beyond the limitations of space and time? These ideas, while highly speculative, open up fascinating avenues for exploring the nature of consciousness and its connection to the fabric of reality. Near-death experiences, NDEs, profound subjective experiences reported by individuals who have come close to death, often involve feelings of peace, detachment from the body, and encounters with a realm beyond ordinary perception. While NDEs can be interpreted from various perspectives, including psychological and neurological, some researchers believe that quantum mechanics could offer insights into these enigmatic experiences. Could consciousness during an NDE detach from the physical body and exist as a quantum entity, perhaps entangled with a larger universal consciousness? Could the tunnel of light, often reported in NDEs, represent a quantum transition to a different dimension or level of reality? While these notions remain speculative, they highlight the potential of quantum mechanics to expand our understanding of consciousness and its relationship to life and death. The exploration of quantum consciousness extends beyond the realm of science, delving into profound philosophical questions about the nature of reality, the self, and the meaning of existence. If consciousness arises from quantum processes, does it imply that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, existing independently of biological life? Could consciousness be a universal field, permeating all of reality, with individual minds being localized expressions of this field? These questions challenge our anthropocentric view of the universe, suggesting that consciousness may not be unique to humans or even biological organisms. It raises the possibility that consciousness could be a ubiquitous feature of the cosmos, interwoven into the very fabric of space-time. The concept of consciousness as a universal constant present throughout the cosmos resonates with ancient spiritual traditions and mystical philosophies. It suggests that consciousness is not a product of the material world, but a fundamental property of existence perhaps even a driving force behind the evolution of the universe. This perspective aligns with panpsychism, a philosophical view that attributes consciousness to all entities, from elementary particles to complex organisms. Panpsychism suggests that consciousness is not an emergent property, but an intrinsic quality of matter, woven into the fabric of reality. While panpsychism remains a fringe idea in mainstream science, it offers a thought-provoking framework for understanding consciousness within a broader cosmological context. Despite the intriguing possibilities offered by quantum mechanics, the mystery of consciousness persists. While we have made significant strides in understanding the neural correlates of consciousness, the fundamental question of how subjective experience arises from physical matter remains unanswered. Quantum mind theories, while promising, are still in their nascent stages, requiring further theoretical development and experimental validation. The brain, with its immense complexity, continues to challenge our scientific tools and conceptual frameworks. The quest to unravel the enigma of consciousness is an ongoing journey, demanding collaboration across disciplines, from physics and neuroscience to philosophy and psychology. The exploration of consciousness through the lens of quantum mechanics takes us to the frontiers of human understanding, where science, philosophy, and spirituality converge. It challenges our conventional notions of reality, the self, and the nature of existence. While quantum mind theories remain speculative, they offer a glimpse into a realm where consciousness could be more than a product of the material world, perhaps a fundamental aspect of the universe itself. The mystery of consciousness, like the quantum world it seeks to unravel, continues to beckon us, inviting us to explore the uncharted territories of the mind, the universe, and the very essence of being.